Hey viewers, when's the last time you ever got to see inside of a centrifuge? Probably never, just like me. Until now, I got a hold of this little one, Centronics Micro Centrifuge 1236V. Uh, it's 120 volt. It's not too much to it. I don't know, it might have been made in uh, 79. It's huh. Even this was uh, made by uh, Edison Company. I wonder if it's the same company that made the um, the Edison motor I already have a video on. Some padding underneath. Don't know why that's there, but it is. And this lid cannot be opened unless there is a uh, power going to this. Um, I do know the centrifuge works. I have had it running. I haven't had anything in it because I don't have any of the vials, but it does run. And still in pretty good shape. Can hold, uh, according to this, up to 18 uh, vials. And uh, there's a protection switch in here. This won't run unless the lid is closed. But I will uh, circumvent that just to show you guys what it's like when it's running. So, we'll set the timer. I have the RPMs minimum. That's times 1,000. That's probably about... 2,000 RPMs on its minimum setting. Slowly building up speed. I'm gonna bump this up to four. Five. Seven. Top speed is about 14,000. Here's 10,000. Thirteen. Maximum speed, 14,000. You see when I, uh, you know, I'll do that again except I'll have the lid closed. So maximum speed. It has a electronic braking system. So when I, when it's all advanced the time to zero, you can actually kind of hear the braking engage. Just take note at how quickly that decelerates. Now I'll speed it, I'll uh, speed it back up to full speed. And this time, I'll, I'll just unplug it. You'll see how much slower it takes to decelerate. You see, it's taking a lot longer to uh, wind down. 
There's a built-in braking system. That way, uh, lab technicians and doctors don't have to wait for this thing to wind down from a, a high speed. And again, the brake. Again, this will not open till it stops. There you go. So the next part of this video, I will uh, open it up and show you what's the inside or centrifuge. All right, I got all the screws uh, removed, I think. Uh, and the set screw that holds this part on. So you can see this is a quite a solid piece here. It's aluminum underneath. Fairly heavy. Maybe uh, three quarters of a pound. And underneath, get your motor shaft there. Let's open her up. And there's your motor. So it's basically just a direct drive set up in here. A little transformer there. That must run these electronics. That must be part of your braking system in there. There's your uh, reset for your speed control. Timer. LED lid switch there. Safety switch and lock. Hmm. I'll tr show you that braking mechanism again. Oh, right. Might help I actually. Pretty good speed for the motor without anything on it. So here's your braking mechanism. Whoa, jeez. And with me unplugging it. Much longer to stop. So uh, there's really not all that much to a centrifuge. It's still a cool piece of technology, but uh, not really that much to it. Sound dampener. Oh, there's, a, there's some information under here. What's that say? 115 volts. Uh, 6402 No idea what that means. Might be your production number or something. And so we see a brushed motor. You know, other than that, uh, there's not much else to show you. Thanks for watching.